Tawakul Karman, uh, despite the unsettled situation in Yemen, the scenario there could have been much worse. It could have been Syria. Uh, what are your thoughts right now with this truly horrific uh, example of uh, the Arab Spring being, you know, really the complete opposite of what protesters wanted? Syria suffering a lot now. The people in Syria, they are carrying the same values that all Arab Spring countries and youth carry, which is dignity equality, freedom, democracy. And until now, the international society, the international community didn't do their responsibility with them. How could we imagine after one year and a half of killing, daily killing yeah, Syrian people in the street, we just hear resolution from international community that they will fire the ambassador, Syrian ambassadors. It's now, they make it now. So they didn't do their effort enough. They're just speaking, and people, they are suffering. They are dying every day. But will the revo peaceful revolution in Syria will fail? No, they will succeed. I told all the commu international community, if you are serious on supporting uh, Syrian people, you have to create buffer zone now. Buffer zone is very important for Syrian people, for women, for children, for giving them aid. It's very important to make to make the uh, safe routes to give them you know, the aids and to take the murders and the injured people from inside. Until now, they didn't do that. Uh, we told them that they have to make a good and a serious sanctions against Bashar al-Assad, and they didn't do that. Maybe Syria will face civil war if the international community didn't respond quickly. So they have to do that now. They have to listen to the voices of women and children in Syria. They have to take their, their responsibility. We don't tell them to make it violence. We don't tell them to interfere and to make it drones or something like that. We tell them just create a buffer zone for protecting Syrian people.